Go, go, go! Baxter hauled her to her feet, almost launching her into the air. He kicked the table, sliding it forward far enough that they could run between it and the wall. At the door, she reached for the board, only then realizing that she still held the pistol in her right hand. Her dad flung the bar to the side and yanked open the door. It was her turn to grab Baxter and shove him against the wall next to the opening. There were four sharp cracks of sound, and Ellie felt her dad's chest expand in a shocked inhale as he heard the gunshots. The men outside must have been waiting for the door to open, hoping she and Baxter would come flying outside to be picked off like the proverbial fish in a barrel. As soon as the shooting stopped, Ellie was moving through the open doorway, gun up and blasting as she ran into the night. She pulled the trigger over and over until the pistol went quiet and she knew it was empty. Even with the deafening booms of her own shots ringing in her ears, she heard the scream. It was a terrible sound, like nothing she'd ever heard from a human throat before. She froze in her tracks, but Baxter shoved her from behind, making her stumble back into motion. Her feet fumbled on the steps, and she almost pitched forward, barely preventing herself from falling face first into the snow at the base of the stairs. Baxter gave her another push to the left. Go! he yelled again, so she turned and ran that awful scream still echoing in her head. The snow was deep, slowing her pace to a nightmare-worthy slog, and she fully expected to feel the impact of a bullet at any moment. Instead, just as she reached the first line of trees, there was a bright flash that lit up the night. <laughs>